In this video, I'm going to show you some of the best Python libraries for bug testing and narco trading. Hi guys, my name is Costa, and today we are going to talk about four of the best Python libraries for bug testing so you can start developing your own strategy. I'll explain the pros and cons of each. The first one is called Bug Trader and is probably the most popular one. The second one is PyAlco Trade is less popular than Backtrader, but it's still a great option with a lot of code examples out there. The third one is called Jesse, and its main focus is that it uses AI to optimize your alco. It also focuses on simplicity. And the last one is backtesting.py. It's less popular than the other ones, but you can still find some code examples on the internet and it has a good documentation as well. I would say it's the most lightweight and it has a nice charting capabilities. Last, as honorable mention, I would like to mention Zipline. It seems to be the most popular one, but unfortunately its development stopped because the company developing it called Quantopian shut down. Personally, I only used Backtrader so far, but I've researched all the frameworks mentioned. And here we can see the, how many GitHub stars each one of these framework has. Next, I would like to talk a bit about Backtrader. The pros are that it's very intuitive at the beginning, especially for uh, someone that uh, is it's a new to this, uh, to this world, like me. It's high, highly customizable. It has a lot of built-in features. It has a lot of contents to learn more about alco trading. It has a lot of tutorials and things like that. It has an active community to fix bugs and it has very great documentation. It's well written and contains a lot of tools. The negative is that the learning rate, it's, it's a little bit steep, but in the end it's worth it. Pi alco trades. The pros are that it has a good support for third-party libraries such as TALIP. It's fast. It supports different data feeds such as Yahoo Finance, and it supports paper and live trading for Bitcoin using Bitstam. The cons is that it does not support pandas. It does not support stock exchanges out of the box. Next one is called Jesse. The pros are is that it's very simple to start. It focuses a lot of on on AI. It has a good technical analysis and charting. And the negatives are. It's not a battle-tested library. It's the first release of this library. Support for live trading only for Binance futures, and you need to register for early access. So you cannot start um, developing immediately. You need to go through the uh, register process. And the last one, backtesting.py. Um, the, the pros are is that it's very simple and lightweight. It has good support for many data feed types has good support for third-party libraries such as TALIB and TULIP, and it has uh, really good interactive uh, graphs. The negative is that it has no built-in solution for trading. So this library is only used for backtesting. You cannot use it for uh, actually trade. These are just my recommendations. They are based on my experience and some research, but it's mostly my opinion. Now, if you worry which one uh, to use in order to get started, I would say just pick one. There are more difficult things to master, and in general, if you are able to code in one framework, you could easily translate and adapt your code to work with another framework. Let me know in the comments if you like to see some examples using the libraries mentioned. If you like to see how to use Backtrader, check my previous videos, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.